This week on Gadget, we've got a very cool USB microscope and a nearly indestructible laptop case. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net, where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus, the California province of the Jesuits. It's a religious order of the Catholic Church. And we're here again in the kind of warm warehouse of the uh, hot stage facility for Interop, where we're just about ready to break apart the network, pack it up, and move it over to Las Vegas for our May show in the Mandalay Convention Center. But let's get on to the tech. This week we've got a double header for you. We've got a USB microscope and a nearly indestructible laptop case. We're going to start with the USB microscope because I'm nostalgic about the years I spent wandering up and down the halls of Radio Shack at the local mall looking at the microscopes and the 10-in-1, 50-in-1, 100-in-1 electronic kits. And this device kind of brings back that feeling. Big C is a company I met in the Sands Convention Center at uh, CES this year, and they sent me one of their 200X DynoLite USB microscopes. Now, as you can see here, it's basically a CCD camera with a LED focus ring on the end and a, uh, a zoom knob for, uh, for, for getting that magnification the way you want it. They've also given me this stand, which allows me to position the microscope exactly where I need it and not have the, the blurry or the shakiness that might have uh, occurred if I were holding it at such a high magnification. And we've got a little video here that shows you how easy it is to set up and use. Using the DinoLite AM313 is quite simple. After a quick software install, you can start up the Dino Capture Suite, which gives you access to the microscope's video feed. From here, you can change the resolution settings, turn on features like the crosshairs, time and date stamping, and time-lapse photography. It's here where you can snap stills from the microscope or record video clips. There's also an option to add captions to your videos or stills in order to point out details, something which is actually quite useful. The camera supports a maximum resolution of 640 by 480 at 30 frames per second, which doesn't sound like a lot, until you realize that the quality of these stills and video is high enough that even 640x480 looks pretty darn good. The illumination ring at the front of the microscope contains eight white light LEDs that do a pretty good job of evenly lighting the surface being examined. The quarter inch CCD coupled with a 10 to 200 time continuous magnification zoom lens provides high quality stills and video. The AM313 can be found online for about $200. The second part of our double header is the medium laptop case from Otter. This Otter box is a polycarb shell that has a uh, unique positive latching system, a grommet that makes it nearly waterproof, and uh, this unique mounting system that uses a series of Velcro straps to secure your laptop. Now, it should be said that this is an incredibly sturdy box. In fact, we took this thing out back and shot airsoft pellets at it, ran over it with a car, dropped it a couple of times, submerged it, sprinkled it, and we weren't able to get any water inside or crack the case. We, we got a few scratches, but that was about it. Now, the Velcro had me worried at first, just because my experience with Velcro hasn't been the greatest. I, I found that Velcro normally works for about the first six months or so until it starts to wear out and then the Velcro just doesn't hold and normally it fails right at the worst time when your laptop will be ready to take a tumble down a staircase or such. But I found over the months of testing this that it still works quite well. It probably holds in the device just as good as it did the first day I dropped one in. The mounting system is incredibly simple. You basically place the grommets at the positions uh, for the corner of the laptop and then you just slide the laptop in. Now we've got a little video here that shows you the finer points of the OtterBox, so take a look and see if maybe this is what you need if you're doing extreme computing. The Otter Medium Laptop Case is an incredibly durable polycarbonate shell that has injection molded ridges 
to transfer weight and shock loads to the outside of the case. This is the source of its strength. It has a positive latching system and a key lock that ensures proper closure of the case and the key lock adds an extra bit of security. Inside the case, a foam lining reduces shock transfers to the laptop, as well as providing a base for the Velcro laptop holders. And once the case is closed, latched, and locked, we're ready to gently test the OtterBox. The first test had to be of the OtterBox's water resistance. Once we finished hosing down the case, it was ready for a subtle immersion test. With the case dried, it was time to perform some drop testing. As you can see, at the end of the testing, the case is dry, the laptop still works, and it's not in a thousand pieces. So a few final words about the Dino Light from Big C and the Medium Laptop case from Otter. These are both geek toys in the truest sense, maybe at the opposite ends of the spectrum. The USB microscope is just fun. I mean, it's something to be able to see something so close up, to take high resolution stills, to take video, and to do it at a relatively low price. The OtterBox medium laptop case is something that will protect your laptop for sure in any extreme conditions, but you know, it's not really for everyday use unless you are taking a laptop in a place where it's bound to get destroyed. The disadvantages of the low capacity and the kind of heavy weight keep it from being used as a daily carry case but it definitely has its applications in geekdom. Now if you want to learn more about the Dino Light from Big C or the Otter Medium Laptop case you can go to www.thetechstop.net click on the gadget tab and see our show notes where will you also be able to find out where you can buy these products. If you want to email us or maybe suggest a product for future review, please contact us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, that's all the time we've got for this episode of Gadget. I've been your host, Robert Balliser, and uh, we've been here in the Interop warehouse. I just want to remind you that there's no Uber geek without you. Take care. <laughs>